so I'll do a track and trace. Okay. Okay. To know what what is the event for this shipment. Mm -hmm. So here, if you go down, see the shipment event history. It has you know shown some events mm -hmm. that it has arrived at the pickup location. This is a stop information. This is the event time. Normal. Who is the user? Okay. Since I have done it, so my ID is reflecting here. If it was a carrier, his ID would have been reflected here. Right. So this is how you know the event gets captured. Okay. And this is how we can see them. And other ways of seeing is you can go to the visibility. Mm -hmm. You can select any of these you know choices. Mm -hmm. Like I go to the shipment visibility, okay. And I give a shipment ID as zero one zero zero zero. Okay. I guess this is shipping. See, there is a you know shipment available, mm -hmm. and I'll just you know uh, see mm -hmm. what is the content. Okay. So it will tell me uh, you know uh, the related information about this particular you know what is the you know the arrival at uh, stop one, stop two, and all those things. Mm -hmm. so it is going to tell me the visibility of the shipment. Okay. Then, if if I would like to see it through, you know, different uh, uh, screen by shipment events, mm -hmm. I give a search. I go to this uh, shipment. Okay, so mm -hmm. it will tell me, you know, okay. here, you know, the the screen is different, right? All right. In case of track trace, it was at the bottom. Right now, it is here. That's true. Okay. If you would like to see the information, further information of the e event details, you can click on this information uh, option, and you can see, you know, who is the responsible party, what is mm -hmm. the status code, which is at the back end, the mm -hmm. uh, the status code at the back end, what is you know, this arrived at pickup location uh, in terms of OTM, what does it mean? It means X3, okay. this is status code. Okay, what is the reason code? What is the event date? Mm -hmm. So all this information you can sc uh, see it at. You know your uh, this details uh, thing. What is the event group? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So there are some tables for uh, you know capturing these values where these uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know default values will exist. Okay. And uh, you can you know check it at the backend side. I told you some uh, uh, in the first class. I told you some five to six tables, right? Do right. remember? Right. Okay. So if you yeah. do a query on those tables, mm -hmm. there will be a, an event for this particular shipment. Okay. Okay. Over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is how you know we can track and trace the events after we enter them. And if you would like to see what will happen if the shipment has delivered uh, to the destination, I'll just show you what the status change will happen. Okay. Uh, I'll just go to the same shipment. Okay. I'll just send the event uh, to both the stocks. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, carrier. I select that you know it has uh, uh, again you know arrived at uh, what you see your delivery location. Okay. Region, mm -hmm. I select no error. Mm -hmm. I select a, a, as normal status. Mm -hmm. And go down. I select the stop. At this stop, it has you know right now uh, come. So I give the event date and time. I give it as you know. And I do a finish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Similarly, I'll add one more event for the final uh, uh, destination. Okay. So I'll I'll go to again events. Mm -hmm. I'll go and add add shipment tracking event. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll select again the responsible party, mm -hmm. and I'll do a comp. I know I have done the delivery. Uh, what to say? I've delivered the okay, okay. completed unloading at the delivery location. Mm -hmm. Again, I'll select no error. Based on this reason, these things will populate normal status and then I select the shipment stop and give it as the third final stop 
and I enter the event. And I do a finish. Okay. So now what is going to happen? The and root status is going to change. If you see, it has come to end root completed. Mm -hmm. You see the status change? Right. So end root uh, delayed has got changed to end root completed because mm -hmm. this shipment has been delivered to the final stop, and Probably. the unloading has been done over there. Okay. And if you would like to go to the stop information, the related you know. Um, event date and time will be updated. Okay. Okay? Okay. So you can you know send events via integration into OTM uh, as a shipment status element okay. or a tracking event uh, element mm -hmm. and you can you know enter it through OTM UI also. Okay. And if you would like to see you know uh, the track and trace screen again simply mm -hmm. right click on this link it will open the smart link okay. and then you do a track and trace. Here if you go at the bottom, it will say three events have you know um, been added. Okay. You can see this? Right. Okay. So this is you know what uh, what is about you know transport uh, planning and execution starting okay. from order uh, release till you know the shipment uh, uh, event part. 